name is Rob Miller and I farm southeast of Lewiston by about five miles. Uh, we run a family dairy farm primarily, but we also um, farm cash, alfalfa, and soybeans on our acres that we raise. We grow triticale on all of our acres that we previous in the fall chop off as corn silage to feed the dairy. Um, I hated seeing black dirt out there, so then we originally started growing it for um, erosion control. And then after that, we started to dabble in feeding it to the cattle and it found, found that if you do it right, it makes a very high quality feed. So now all of our acres that we chop corn silage off get fall seeded to triticale. And then in the spring, um, we will chop the triticale off and then no-till soybeans into that ground. We kind of line it up with the weather because it is a grass, a high volume grass. That's it can be at times difficult to totally get dry, but we kind of eye it up with the weather, but then also growth stage of the triticale. Um, when you can just first see a couple um, beards starting to stick out of the top, that was typically when we, that's the highest quality and highest volume. So we cut it with a, a mower and then we tet it a couple hours later so that it dries more consistently. And then we, after it dries down to the um, moisture that we want, we will run a uh, merger through it to get it ready for the chopper and we'll chop it, haul it, put it in bunkers, pack it and cover it with plastic. It's higher in energy than alfalfa, but higher in protein than corn silage, so it kind of falls right down the middle of the two of them. So, um, and it typically runs higher in digestibility than alfalfa and corn silage. So um, we originally started feeding it to our heifers because we thought it was just going to be a heifer feed, but now almost all the triticale gets fed to the dairy cows. The primary visual that you can see is less erosion, but you also notice that um, in heavy rain events, water doesn't pool in those acres, like it infiltrates better. So I mean, you can definitely see a difference there, you know? So I figure if water's you know, going down instead of across down the waterway, it's good. that's a good thing. Depending upon what you're doing it for, if you're doing it for um, feed, feed quality, um, varieties do make a big difference. So make sure you check out the varieties that are available and what your intended purpose with them are, you know, first. And then um, start. I mean, that's, we've been doing it since the uh, mid-90s. So um, just start and you're, you're going to learn. And some years, you know, don't get frustrated if you have a bad year initially. But there are definitely learning curves, you know. I mean, each year we try adding more um, cover crop acres every year. So um, just start small and keep working your way up. So, and this way, you know, if you jump, if you just jump into it in your first year, it doesn't turn out well, it can be kind of disheartening. So just start small and as you get more comfortable with it, then keep increasing your acres. Thank you.